Hello everyone, you're back with Logman Plays, coming back to a classic game, Always Remember Me. Now, the last time we left off, I accidentally bought this Akinara plushie for uh, whoever's in the bed in the hospital. But we're going to buy this elegant dress. And so sweet, so we've got this sweet dress, now we're going to wear it to all these places, like the mall, the disco pub, and, okay, yeah, all that stuff shopping I watched a new anime on TV it was a lot of fun and relaxing as well that kitty kid is so cute hello kitty cat you're precious such a precious cat hey guys there was just a lot of senseless grinding and talking to Hugh at this part so I thought I'd just add some pictures of me and pictures of why Wyoming and South Dakota trip to kind of make up for the you know all the fast forwarding and just useless clicking in this part so have some photos and enjoy the video. Welcome. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! Something's happening. Oh, never mind. It was just Hugh like looking at us weirdly. Dang it! I've literally just been clicking and like buying things. And here, audience, all right. You want to see what happens? You want to see what I've been doing? I'll give you I'll give you a little rundown. Been going home. Go to our room. So the key, because I want to romance Hugh, and Hugh, all basically all of these guys are all of the guys that we're looking at are different sort of these things. So I believe Lawrence is culture, maybe? And then creativity is Hugh, which is what I'm trying to do, and we'll do that by writing our romance novel, because I got a pair notebook. So see, all these up one. So then, I want to say, Lar uh, no, sorry, Lawrence is discipline. Eddie is culture? No, Eddie might be discipline. It, d what, what really matters, basically, is that Hugh is creativity. That's what matters. I'm going to take a nap. Didn't get to take a nap. All right. Looks better. We'll watch some TV. And now we go to sleep. So that's literally what I've been doing every day. Every day. I've been doing that for like the past like 20 minutes. Just trying to get some interaction out of anybody. Where I think we went wrong is when I... Is when I accidentally told Hugh uh, that I didn't really want that pizza. What a mistake. Oh my god. This sucks. So I was recently asked by James to, I don't know if we're thinking about doing like a romance, romantic advice column or something with romantic advice, but I thought I'd lay down some romantic advice for all of my viewers out there. I think I've been pretty successful in my romantic life. Allison, would you, would you confirm? Take that as confirmation. Uh, they just laughed at me. I don't know if that, the microphone picked that up. Uh, but basically, I'd say if you wanna, if you wanna be involved with someone who's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I had ice cream after lunch. You know what? I'm trying to do a thing here. I'm trying to lay down some some sweet romantic knowledge, and you're messing the whole thing up. Uh -huh, it's my fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Anyway, guys, if you want a real happy relationship like the one I'm in, you got <laughs> if, if the whole thing, I think really the best... What am I even doing in the game right now? Did I talk to Hugh? Yeah. The best thing to do in a relationship, to have a good relationship, it needs to be... It's a very, like, two-way kind of street. And I think that really the best way to go along with that is you got to be with someone who is your equal. You know, it has to be someone who um, you really like, but someone who really likes you back. It has to be very mutual, sort of like, and a very, um, there needs to be a very tight respect there. Because relationships are not only about, you know, like being all lovey-dovey and stuff like that, but I think they're very much about being a team. And when you're in a team like that, you know, you really need to work together. Um, but so... My, my real good romantic advice would be, first off, 
don't get into a relationship if you haven't been friends before. Allison, would you confirm or deny? Wait, what? Don't be in a relationship with someone if you haven't at least been, like, friends with them for a while. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Allison's giving me the absolutely. So you know it's good It's good knowledge. <laughs> when, when you enter in a relationship with someone, you know, it's going to feel like, oh, man, like, this person's so exciting, and, like, I don't know anything about them, but that's generally going to make for a relationship that doesn't have a lot of trust in it or doesn't have a lot of, like... <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'm very burpy from that ice cream. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on. While I was walking in the park, I saw a figure waving at me from the distance. It was Hugh, apparently on a walk in the park as well. This game is a walk in the park. No, it isn't. It's very hard. Well, well, well. Amy, how it goes? Can I join you? I agree amiably, and we trundled along the sidewalk mostly in silence, feeling unnaturally sluggish under the sun. After a while, Hugh spoke up. Hey, What's this? Why does he have this rain? Hey, Amy. Yes? What? What? Hugh, what are you saying? I'm terribly sorry, but you owe me a soda. I wrinkled my brows, confused. Huh? Why? What? What? Was that supposed to be like a smooth line, or is, is that actually something that happened? <laughs> because when I looked at you, <laughs> I dropped mine. I stopped still. Was that, like, supposed to be, like, a pickup line? Is that a good pickup line? Hey, Allison, you owe me a donut. Why? Because <laughs> when I looked at you, I dropped my donut from how beautiful you were. Yes. <laughs> You're not laughing at all. Hey, hey, control. hey. It's not my fault. No swearing in my videos. Someone's calling me from South Dakota. Hello? Hello? I am looking for Lindsay. Uh, I think you may have the wrong number. I'm sorry, thank you. Okay. That was weird. Not Leslie. I am not Leslie. Okay, I stopped still. Realizing that he had just used a pickup line on me. I guess it wasn't supposed to be serious, but... Dot, 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 dot. Play along. Have... Wait a second. Okay. I already ruined things last time. Let's see what the guide says. The guide says... Park. Trigger. Play along. Have some fun. I don't want to ruin things last time like I did with the pizza. So we're going to play it. We're going to we're gonna play along. We're going to go buy the book. Play along. Have fun. I couldn't help it. I burst out laughing. Hugh joined in after a few moments. I wiped my eyes and grinned. If you were words on a page, you'd be what they call fine print. Ooh, yeah. Plus five. Cha-ching! Nice gob. He snickered, then retaliated with his own pickup line. If being sexy was a crime, you'd be guilty as charged. Hugh, let me tell you something. Sorry, I went down on a click time player. <laughs> you are terrible at pickup lines. There's something wrong from my cell phone. It doesn't have your number in it. Alright. Both of these guys are terrible at pickup lines. How was heaven when you... Is this just gonna... Alright. I don't care about these. Here's a... Here's... All you hopeless romantics out here. Next time you're looking at a potential... Potential mate. Or someone that you would like to maybe engage with romantically. Try this classic number on them. You're so beautiful... I forgot my pickup line. They'll just be instantly, instantly in love with you. Not now, Ward. Laughing uncontrollably. Also, what is this set? It looks like the Wild West. Like, there's like an old, like, background with like, there's like a boardwalk. It looks like the Wild West to me, but I guess a lot of stuff looks like the Wild West to me. Probably culture. <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. All right. This is not a drill. I stepped out the door into bright sunlight. Shading my eyes, I walked as quickly as I could to the mall. In the grocery section, I stopped by the large stands full of greeting cards. I should get Aaron one, I thought. No, I shouldn't. I stepped closer to the display, intent on picking the sweetest get well card I could find. A small one decorated with sparkly roses caught my eye. Hang on. 
Can we talk about this store that's just called Ding? Okay. A small one de- <laughs> sorry. A small one decorated with sparkly roses caught my eye, and I was about to pick it up and see the message inside when a hand thwacked down onto my shoulder. What is thwack? Is that like whamp? That's a weird phrase. Startled, I spun around to see you. Oh, why hello there. Oh, hello, Hugh. Hi, Amy. What are you up to? Just trying to pick out a crib well card for Aaron, not deciding on a voice that I can do. How do I get these out of my screen? How? Mm, get out of here. He nodded seriously and peered over my shoulder. Oh, hey, I know. Give him this. He reached for a large card with the cartoony drawing on the cover. Flickering it open. Flickering it open. He read what was inside, which was apparently so funny it caused him to laugh. Amy, you have to give him this. This will keep him in stitches for a week. <laughs> we both blinked, then had a second laugh. At, what? What was... Oh, because he's in a motorcycle accident. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Looked at the cartoon, just like I thought. There was a funny joke inside. Uh, we should pick the funny card. Duh. Well, you have me convinced. This should make him laugh too, right? Nice. Nice. Ward, stop playing Skyrim. Not while I'm doing my Let's Plays. Yes, I'm sure it will. It's very funny. They say laughter is the best medicine, and I think that might just be what Aaron needs, something to make him laugh. Did I say that right? Ward, get out of here. You're probably right. Come on, I'll buy it for you. My... Oh, I thought he was calling us my treat. That was weird. Thanks, Hugh. I put the rose back into its place and happily followed Hugh to the cash register. After we'd bought the card, Hugh decided he had enough shopping inside it was... Time to go home and make dinner.